Welcome to Antarctica, everyone. That's a lie. We're here in hot, humid Macau. Today, we are going to be doing some street foam photography. Foam photography is awesome because all you need is a phone, your feet, and a street. So we're going to leave this beautiful winter wonderland and start capturing the authentic local streets of Macau, which is just this way. I'm going to show you guys how to capture some awesome fabra own. Awesome photos with your phone is what I tried to say, but sometimes my brain refuses to follow my mouth. Let's go. I'm using the swirl, the beautiful swirl on the ground to try to use as leading lines to lead to a pretty building. But we're just warming up the photography muscles, getting into it right now. The thing about street photography is you just take as many photos as you can, really. You gotta be like a machine gun. <laughs> but without death and only Instagram likes instead. I'm from Ireland. Ireland. Oh. How about you? I, I was born in Myanmar. Oh, Myanmar. very cool. Do you know any how to say anything in, from Myanmar? Like how to say hello? Hello. Uh, Minglaba. 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 So I've been taking photos for like about a minute or so, so that's making me really hungry. So I just saw some cool food over there. I want to give it a try. Uh oh, can I have one? Thank you. Enjoy, Sai. Have a great night. Bye bye. Roasted chestnuts. I'm feeling super Christmassy. Jingle bell, jingle all the chestnuts. Let's give this a try. It's pretty local. I've never seen that guy before here. Let's see what it's like. Very. Ooh. So hey guys, this is future Josh. Just want to tell you that actually when you eat chestnuts, you're meant to peel them. Don't do what I did. Very chewy. It's a hard exterior, but really nice inside. Very fluffy inside. Hey guys, future Josh back again. Just to reiterate, please don't eat chestnuts without unwrapping them. They need to be, and my stomach didn't feel so good after eating six of them. Also this one, mm. you need to eat this. You eat everything. Or only the inside? Maybe just the inside. Why you chew everything? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> there is a temple and there's a Grand Lisboa. Very contrasting buildings. Let's see if I can capture something that gets them both in frame. Decades old temple and a very modern building in the background. It's really cool. I think this frame excellently shows what's so unique about Macau, and that's that extreme contrast from new to old. I think temples consistently give the best lighting, very dramatic, and when you get a smoke-filled room with tons of those life rings, it's almost too perfect. It's like you don't know where to go. You're like, oh, is this the right angle? But if you just take your time, experiment a little bit, you can really capture some cool, stunning images. At the end of the day, when you're in a beautiful place like that, it really doesn't matter what you're taking photos with, as long as they're not selfies. I think we've captured some cool areas around Senado Square. It's now getting more dark. So let's go over to more the local side, a bit more quiet area of Macau. It's like a maze. You just walk. I love it. It's very cool. Urban photography, heaven. Sometimes you're not sure why, but something is aesthetically pleasing. You just gotta trust your eyes sometimes. If they go, yeah, that's pretty nice. You gotta go, okay, eyes, I'll take a photo. Ooh, is this like a mini temple? Wow, this is like a walk-through temple. The lighting from his candles are very cool. We've barely taken two steps down this alleyway and already we've been hit with two really nice photo locations. Macau is small, but it is dense and filled with photo spots. Into the wall! And don't hit me, please! That was 
close. Another Big Mac and I might have been toast. This area of Macau is kind of like half abandoned, half not. But a good example is this building right here. It's actually an old style Chinese building. You can see from the black bricks and also by the fact that there's a giant hole where the window should be up there. It's a nice ambience and a really unique framing opportunity, which we're gonna try to take full advantage of. This is perhaps the most photogenic building in all of Macau. Quite literally, in terms of lighting, color, and environment, everything here is shaped up to be the perfect frame. And at night, it's even better because the lights on the side of the building really make it pop compared to the more darker buildings on either side. It's just like an arrowhead of contrast coming through the darker landscape. You can capture a really beautiful image here without even having to try. That is a serious neon sign. All right, let's see. Get this right in the center of the frame. Night photography 101, neon sign equal good. This is a really nice one. All right, I gotta wait for the perfect moment go out into the street. I want to capture a bottom-up looking angle of a neon sign. Please no one run me over. It's a unique angle, but that's what we're going for. When you got a phone, you got to be creative and be a little bit crazy with your angles. I think this one really works actually. We're almost getting run over. dodging cars, taking photos, and almost getting run over by motorbikes has made me rather hungry. So this is a really good area for street food, some local authentic street food. So I think we're gonna fuel up some more, even though we, ju <laughs> even though we just had chestnuts. My tummy is a bottomless pit and I'm hungry again. So let's see if we can find some local street food and then continue on taking some photos. It's a big food stall. Hi. Hi. Hi, for two? Thank you. Wow, this is cool. Oh, two. Art. Uh, here? Thank you. Do you, do you know Chinese? No, no, me neither. Oh, we pick. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, yes. <laughs> so the way it works is you actually choose what you want to be cooked up. And um, we got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, sure. Huh? It's good. Okay. Uh, fish, fish, you want fish? Okay, okay. we get some. Okay. okay. Can we get some broccoli? This one? Yeah, mmm, perfect. So we got some octopus, egg, broccoli, and other things I'm not really sure. <laughs> but this looks great. This is super local and you go sit down right beside. It's like half street food, half restaurant. Really nice. People are very friendly. Let's give it a try. Looks delicious. Oh, mgoi sai. Oh, yes. Dip it in some soy sauce. <laughs> Very delicious. And how true? I've never had this before. I've never had this sort of omelet where you pick the toppings. Oh, oh man, like a comfort food. Very warm, hugging. You feel like. You kind of feel like you're back home in your own kitchen and it's that sort of home style cooking. It's really nice, quite simple ingredients, but a really good taste and just cooked really well. Very friendly people, a great atmosphere. Thank you, bye bye, Tai Jian. So, I am officially Tai Bao Le. 
which means very full, perhaps too full. <laughs> I didn't understand when ordering that when you pick one of the ingredients, it's per dish, and I picked four ingredients. So we had four big dishes all to ourselves. After what you saw me eat, they actually just <laughs> kept bringing more and more food, but it was so delicious we did not stop eating. So I gotta burn it all off, and the best way to do that is to go continue on the night street photography adventure and keep going. Now that it is fully dark, I wanna see how the phone performs, see how Macau performs. I think it's looking beautiful. Let's see if the phone is good enough to capture it. Its name is Brad. I've been here a long time and I still haven't got sick and tired of, of walking around. Macau is small, but you always find a new place and during the day and night, it's completely different. It's really fun to explore, actually. hope you enjoyed the video. It was just a lot of fun. Macau is beautiful during the day and during the night. And I think even if you just have a phone, if you're creative with it, you can capture some really cool angles and capture some really cool photos. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any cool phone photos, make sure to share me. Don't share me. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm not a plate of chips. You can't share me. Share your phone photos in the comments below. I would love to see them. And maybe the best one gets featured in the next phone photography adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, photography is awesome. It gives you an excuse to go out and explore the world with eyes that make you focus on maybe some unique stuff, the beauty or the culture. So I think it's important to do. I think if you're into photography, just get out there and keep practicing. Even if you just got a phone, you really can capture awesome stuff. You just have to think a little more about it. I do all the editing on my phone. I use an app called Snapseed. Snap a seed. Scrongle, screed, those things rhyme but have no related meaning. I don't know why I said the second bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.